My name is Caroline Jones, I'm a Tax Director at PwC. I lead the Wales and West um, Employment and Reward Team and I also lead the National Public Sector ta Team for Employment Tax. It's a significant change coming in for the public sector where they're engaging with personal service companies. They're bringing in a change which removes the responsibility from the personal service company to the public body to decide whether or not IR35 should apply. The new rules apply from the 6th of April 2017. What's really key here, it's um, payments made after the 6th of April 2017. So from a um, public sector body um, perspective, what they need to do is they need to determine at the outset whether the engagement is one of it, um, employment or not, whether they're caught by the new rules. And they need to do that for all engagements that exist after the 6th of April. So it could be an existing engagement or it could be a new one. So there are various things that the revenue um, consider when they're looking at employment status. The way I like to do that is by using the CRISPS test. So the first thing is control, whether or not the um, engaging body has the right to control the individual. The next thing that we need to think about is risk. So is there a financial risk? Is it possible for the individual to make a profit or a loss? The next thing you need to think about is integration. So is the um, individual part and parcel of the organisation? Do they have um, access to the internet? Do they have an email address? Could the public body actually operate without them? And then the next thing to think about really is substitution. If they are um, able to provide a substitute and the payment has gone to the original contractor who then pays the substitute, that is, it will stop you at that point and say that you are actually self-employed. But the final one in those main five is around the provision of equipment. So if you're providing large items of equipment, then that often is an indication of self-employment. And again, when you use the Revenues Online tools, you'll see that if you are able to answer yes to that question, then that will probably say that you are self-employed. Public bodies are starting to understand what the implications are for them. But because the draft legislation wasn't published until December, it's been quite a short time frame for them to get ready. So I think there are, um, some organisations are getting to grips with it, some are quite a long way behind the curve.